Students at Bishop Filovich Ukrainian Bilingual School have been busy, loading up backpacks with donated pens, notebooks, and running shoes for their new classmates, children who fled war-torn Ukraine with their families. The school has so far welcomed a handful of elementary students, and Principal Stasia Horbe Ugalde says more are expected to arrive in the coming weeks. The first girl that came last week, um, it just kind of sends shivers down and kind of brings tears to my eyes because by the at the beginning she was quite timid, and by 3:30 at Chester loading the bus she was just like any other student that didn't have any kind of trauma in the background. Head caretaker Shannon Martin has watched as the kids transitioned into their new surroundings and says it's tugged at her heartstrings. Seven weeks ago they were in their own school with their own friends, just living their life, and now they're here starting over again. Since Russia invaded Ukraine in February, the school has been very involved, collecting cash donations and organizing any kind of humanitarian aid it can each week. Just a child herself, grade 8 student Katarina Tokarska has been helping with the fundraising. It's been pretty stressful, but we've all are trying to stay as optimistic as we can. And uh, right now our goal is just to help as many people as we can. The city of Saskatoon and local business leaders are also pitching in, uniting behind an effort to buy and sell vital equipment and supplies to Saskatoon's sister city in Ukraine. Now the people of Chernitsi need our help. And this gives people of Saskatoon an opportunity to step forward. The city and the Chamber of Commerce are holding a fundraiser luncheon next month in support of the western Ukrainian city. The hope is, with every plate bought and every donation sent over, those in Ukraine know Saskatchewan people stand alongside them united. Jesse Anton, CBC News, Regina.